Good morning, y'all. Welcome to my channel. Oh my, it's Shannon, and welcome to my kitchen again. It is sweet, sweet, sweet treat Sunday, and I'm going to make brownie shots. So this one here, yes, we do have to turn the oven on. So, and I know I look awful, but I've been up for a little bit, but I still look like I just woke up, but I'm doing this before everybody gets up in the house. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. So on our brownie shots, you need your brownies. So however you make your brownies, me today, I'm going to use... Let me turn you guys around and I'll show you exactly what I'm going to use. The Betty Crocker Delights Supreme Triple Chunk. Okay. So you're going to make your brownies just according to what whoops, the back of the ingredients says. And then there's the rest for my brownie shots. Okay, you guys. So far, I've got what the ingredients recall for. A fourth a cup of water, a third a cup of vegetable oil and one egg and I'm fixing to put in I'm just going to do one box I have two boxes out but I'm just going to do one box of the brownie mix and get it mixed up let's sprayed my pan <clears throat> with a cooking spray and now I'm going to put it in there and it doesn't matter if your pan is square oblong triangle circle because it's not going to be perfect cuts anyways and you guys will see that here in just a few. I'm gonna get everything, clean the bowl out, and get it all in there, and we'll get it in the oven. I to mention about the chocolate candies that I did a rough cut on. Um, those there is just extra chocolate that I put into my brownies. So, I mean, you can do it, you don't have to do it. It is just what I can do, or what I do. Um, you can use any kind of chocolate you want. You could even use morsels. So, you can just kind of, and oh my gosh, you guys, I look awful. Oh, well. It is what it is, right? On the pan, it says to bake at 350 degrees, which I already preheated in my oven, for about 33 to 38 minutes. So, I'm going to set my timer for 33 minutes. And then that way... I won't forget about it, you guys. I always forget. It. Actually, I'm going to do it for 30 minutes. And there we go. We are set. And <clears throat> so, and the little film stuff that come up around the the mix when I put it in the pan, that was just the cooking spray. So it doesn't affect it or anything like that. It's just you know we don't want it to stick. So. We're going to let that cook, and we will be back. Hey, y'all. The brownies are done. And now, I just, I have to let them cool a little bit before I finish making the brownie shots. So, let's just wait just for a little bit. I just took them out of the oven, and they're really, they're hot. So, we got to let them cool down a little bit, and then we will get to going. Okay, we're going to see how this works. I am not... I let it cool down a little bit, but not a whole bunch. So, when you get your brownies and they're done, you're just going to cut. They don't have to be perfect. 
they're still kind of warm but you got to cut them so it all depends on what you're going to put them in i'm putting them in these awesome looking halloween um champagne plastic wear i thought they were really cute so i'm just going to do little pieces you know kind of like that and then i'll have to cut this like that of course and then we're going to put them inside can you guys see that i hope so so we're just going to put them inside oh they are still really warm okay. and then you can have your choice of caramel butterscotch you can do strawberry whatever you want hot fudge let me see i'm i'm getting you guys in there and then just your regular chocolate whoa your regular chocolate and we're going to do hot fudge so of course on the hot fudge you got to warm it up just for a few in the microwave <clears throat> and if you want nuts any kind of nuts in your in your um let's see did this do it no it's got to do a little bit more okay so this recipe i actually found at a restaurant um i've got a really um i don't know if it's a bad habit a good habit of going to restaurants and if i like something or if my family members like it i will break it down until i can get the recipe together now it's been years since i they don't even serve this dessert anymore I gotta get it hotter, you guys. I'm sorry. And you can do combinations of all of your toppings. It all is what you want. You can add peanuts on top. We're gonna put a little bit of whipped cream on top. We're just gonna fix it up really nice. Unfortunately, I don't have anybody home to try it, okay? And then we're going to take it and we're just going to drop it if it'll drop down in there but you have to get it in there um because you want the hot fudge or whatever toppings you're using you want it to go all the way down to the bottom so that's why it's got to get it's got to get pretty hot you guys Oh my goodness. I should have had this going before I started filming. Give me a second and I'll get it okay, warmed here up. Here we go. She's nice and warm because she was bubbling. So we're going to get it and we're just going to put it in there. Now this is just like if you really have a sweet tooth and you are a chocoholic like a lot of my families are. And I'm just putting this, um, it's just a shabob, shish kebab skewer to where the hot fudge will get down in there. I'm, not, I'm just gonna lay that right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do And then you can use whatever ready whip topping if you like it or you can do cool whip just a little tiny bit you don't want to do too much and then we will add a little bit 
of nuts, fixed nuts, to the top. And if you got a cherry, you can add a cherry on top. And here she is, a brownie shot, y'all. So if I missed anything or whatever, just comment below and just tell me what you think. But there she is, a brownie shot. And I'm just going to make one because I don't have no one to eat them. Everybody's gone or they're still asleep. But until next time, you guys, cheers. Thank you for joining me in my messy kitchen. And until the next video, y'all take care. God bless and peace. Bye.